Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we're playing Final Fantasy VI and recording it all on VHS. And gosh dang and heck, every time I hear this theme coming on, it just makes me smile. I love this game. Um, anyway, so last time, hey, we wrapped up uh, Sabin's uh, little side adventure um, that has not been so little. It's actually been, like, several episodes at this point. So, well, hey, uh, we're about to hit the Let's Go button. Um... Ooh, we do not have a whole lot of... Hmm. Hmm. We do not have a whole lot of money. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure I've already talked to everybody. We already spent all of our money. Let's double check that we actually equipped the things that we bought. Um, good enough. Okay, so with that, it's time to go hop on a ship to South Figaro, which I cannot remember for the life of me if that is going to just like play a cutscene and then we're going to show up at Narsh, uh, or if we actually have to walk the rest of the way there, but we'll find out. South Figaro bound ferry. Uh, let's hop aboard. Narsh is just a stone's throw away. I hope the others arrive safely. I'm sure they did. Me hope so too. The three have reached Narsh. A decisive battle is about to take place. I understand it all, except how can we be encouraging bloodshed? I never said that, or something like it. Ha, oh, he's right, you know. Bannon, our blood will spill because of you. Emperor Gastal's racing to acquire magitech power. He's set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of Magitech power will surely lead to global destruction. The War of the Magi. A mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? People will never learn. Brother! Oh, jeez, voices. Uh... Sabin, you're all right. Who's with you? I'm Sion, retainer to the Lord of Doma. Gao! Gao! The people of Doma were wiped out by the Empire. Kefka. Poisons. <sighs> Everyone. Barbaric. Elder. But that was only because Doma was re collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake... That's nonsense. Locke. The Empire is poised to attack Narsh right now. What? Locke, where did you hear that? Celeste here was one of the Empire's generals. Uh, I knew she seemed familiar. Sir Gao, out of my way. This is General Celeste? She torched Miranda. She's an Imperial spy. Now stand aside. Wait. Celeste has joined the Returner. She's fighting with us now. But... I promise to protect her. I will not back out of my word. Locke, are you still thinking about that? I was also an Imperial soldier. What? The Empire is evil. 
but not all its citizens are. Well, this is... Emergency! The Empire cometh! I don't care what you do here, just get me that Esper! Lord Kafka, there's civilians here! Exterminate everyone! But Narsh is neutral! Idiot! Read my lips! Dispose of any who oppose us! March! really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. They're after the Esper. We moved it into the hills. Then we're going after it. Locke has a complicated past. I wouldn't go thinking he's fallen for you something something. I'm a soldier, not some love-starved twit. Cold as ice. So you were born with the power of magic. Isn't that a lovely gift? Oh, I have control over this one. You can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a Magitech knight. Have you loved anyone? What's that supposed to mean? Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide. Okay, so, welcome to the big old menuing. And finally, it's not Sabin being saved. Okay, so, uh, do, 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 we basically have the big old, um, <laughs> big old battle coming up, and... Everybody has things to do. Okay, so who's actually going to be doing fighting? That's an important question. Luck has stealing Celeste's magic, uh, you have sword tech, you have tools, you have blitz, and you have rage. So, right now, these are like our top three. Uh, Terra, Locke, and Celeste are our top three choices for people who will actually be, be doing fighting and can benefit from the relics that uh, Terra currently has. Um, all of Everybody's inventory is kind of a hot mess. Do I not have any spare shields? Did I just decide not to? question is, is the defense worth it, or do I want the speed? I'm okay leaving her with the earrings and the ribbon.
I guess I did specifically buy this for her. I just realized how good white capes are. Crud. Um, those were expensive. That was like 5,000 money, I do believe. Uh, so white capes have that magic to block defense, and that's the thing I keep bringing up about the, like, the whole evade percent. So, uh, that actually... That provides a 10% magic block increase, which actually gets calculated for both, basically, any attack. So, um, that's real good. The white cape's real good. We're... You know what? Let's go ahead and give that to her. Alright, so, earrings, raise magic damage. Alright, I want you to use the silk robe because that's better for magic nonsense. Cool, 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 okay, um, you should be pretty good on your actual equipment re relics do you have. I still don't actually know what this does. Okay, so Genji Dove Glove does actually increase your defense. Interesting. Um, do, 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 do. All right, you actually have a Mithril Pike now, which is great. Ooh, you and your poor, poor magic block percent. Edgar, you you poor, poor man. Um, cool. Jason's dark is pointless, petrifies useful. Um, protects you with everything. Do, 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 do. Again, with the, I'm just not sure what's good for anyone right now. Um, do, 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 do. Raise defense, casts safe when HP is low. That's actually like really kind of handy. Um, We could double up the earrings, raise magic damage for Celeste real, real dang high. I was afraid of that. Um, so... Do you... <laughs> uh, brutal. What is this giving you? Gao, what the heck? Why do you have such high magic block chance? Right off the bat, jeez. Okay, um, I'm very certain if I talk to Bannon, then we just start the fight. Um,
Do, do, do. Okay. Things I had not thought about is like what sort of builds that I want to kind of drive everybody towards. Uh, Man, it is really rude that they didn't heal everybody uh, going into this. Um, hmm. Take a quick peek at some things. Sixty-six. Okay, so apparently, out of quote unquote out of the box, Celeste is not quite at, as good at magic as Terra is. Um, Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Things I had not thought about. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, so the earrings being paired do make somebody just a flat out formidable mage. Um, and considering I have kind of pushed Celeste in that direction should probably stick with it all right we're calling Celeste done lock also not full health eh. <laughs> uh, okay um you Since we don't have any of your stuff yet. Determined I do actually want that speed on lock. Gao, you can do that. Let's just make you a beast who avoids almost 30% of things. And then you can try to get in front of people who are low HP. Alright, 
Edgar, you can have a ribbon. You know what, you will almost always be hit by everything, so let's actually give you the defense. And Seven, you are not much better off in that department, quite frankly. Um, this is such a pointless thing. There's a reason we're not giving anything to Terra. Um, <laughs> that will all become apparent in the near future. Cool. So now that we have gone and equipped everybody, and that's taken 10 minutes, let's see if I edit it down. I probably won't because, hey, it's an RPG. Menuing is to be expected. Um, <laughs> all right. Everybody should be good. Uh, button. Save the Esper from Kafka and ease him in full. Let's do it. Fight in three groups. Why to switch between them? Defeat Kafka before his men reach Bannon. Otherwise, you lose. And we end up with the fun time of, hey, let's uh, put together some parties of rad dudes. Um, cool. So, uh... Alright. Celeste, you're a beast. You can lead the charge. Um... So we've got our power team, and also lock. Um, <laughs> our good squad, and Gao. Gao can hold. Hopefully, that uh, like nearly thirty percent miss chance for him is going to uh, work. Um, that sure is a plan. It sure is a plan. It's a bad plan. It sure is a plan. Lord Corbin. Oh, oh, it's General Celeste, the traitor. How delightful. And this'll be fun. Go and get those vile insects. Alright, so we have that fantastic Adventure Time music. Troopers. Again, with the absolutely gorgeous backgrounds. Let's 
So my plan here is to just uh, bum rush Kafka. Um, because I don't think there's any benefit to fighting um, <laughs> I don't think there's any benefit to, like, clearing out the entire army here. Alright, Locke, you're in a bit of rough shape. But luckily, we actually have magic! <laughs> getting some fun CRT effects on this. Um, for whatever reason, the bright white background is, uh, oof, oof indeed. Bright white background is like causing the edges of my screen to like warble. Good job. First try. Oh, geez, lock. Anyway, we got the first try steal, so that's the important part. And a remedy. Alright. I oh, know. I went too far to the right. Yes, good, good. Hooray, so let's learn imp. Learned imp. Ah, no! <laughs> they keep spawning on top of me.
Okay, here we go. Oh, that sweet, sweet music that I keep getting copyright notices for. Uh, you know what? Let's just shut down any magic he does. We'll try to do an aura blast and probably hack it up. Hey, I did it. Got an ether. Should be it, right? Alright, that is it. Cool, cool, cool. Can't suplex. Good thing I put the ribbon on Edgar. Alright, we're just gonna let Celeste chill for a moment. I think her runic is still active. Don't think you won. I'll be back. A peace ring! Heck, I won't forget this. Where's the Esper? Is it okay? That was a close call. Can it still be alive? Impossible, right? Terra? What is it? No. Terra and the Esper. There's some kind of reaction. What? What am I feeling? What's going on? Please, tell me. Who am I? Who? Terra. An Esper. You can actually feel its mind. Terra. Step away from the Esper.
<clears throat> You're awake? Where's Tara? She changed into a something and took off. She looked like... She looked like an Esper. Locke, you okay? Something happened to Terra. There seems to be some connection between Espers and her. Anyway, we need to find her. Witnesses saw some her screaming across the sky to the west. Let's go. I promise her I'd... Locke. Think, people. The Empire still wants the Esper. So that, Bannon needs our help, too. A former Imperial soldier. But we've no choice. We must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay in Garden Arsh. Figaro Castle can shuttle us uh, to the western province. Then we'll make for Kolingjin or Jador. Important choice time. Okay, so, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Who are we going to take? Um, hmm. <laughs> no. Welcome to menus. <laughs> also, gosh dang and heck, that scream sound effect. Uh, the scream sound effect is so powerful. <laughs> such a good, such a strong, strong sound effect. Um, but hey, so anyway, I don't think there's anything for like actually defeating all the enemies, which is why I just ran and just took out Kefka immediately, as best as I could, um, with one strong party. Um, okay, so Celeste is a must. Um, we need... We don't need magic. It would just be real dang please help nice. I'd like to be able to heal people without having to burn through hundreds of uh, tonics. Um... <sighs> Locke seems like we should be taking him. Like, story-wise, it makes sense. Uh, since we're going to Figaro... It is a shame. <laughs> like, I really want to use more characters in this game. But it's like... These are such a strong set of characters. I want magic. Since we're going to Figaro, I really want to have both of them. And because we're going after Terra, it's like I really want Locke. Um, if we had an opening in our party, there's actually a chance for us to meet up with and... Uh, hire Shadow to work with us some more. Um, which is cool. But also, I believe it's very expensive. Like, I want to say 4,000 gold? Um, <laughs> oh. and I don't think there's anything that we get from, like, hiring Shadow now. Uh, Here's the thing, it's like, I always end up with the same party because it's like, they're they're just like, really good, except for Locke, Locke's fine. Um, <laughs> and Gao is apparently a beast with his, like, oh, you know, base stat magic <laughs> ignore percent of like 19 points. Um, and Cyan, like I always like, <sighs> There's a lot of cool characters in this game. I want to play with more of them. I always want to like try to switch up my stuff, but I never end up doing that because reasons. Gao, Gao do his best. All right, 
Uh, so we can change group members if we want to. We have to help her. Um, which, you know what? Actually, hey, Locke, you're going to be on your own for a second. Just so we can find Terra. Uh, read through what everybody has to say. No, will watch over, Narsh. Go quickly. She ripped out of here, just look, just like an Esper. I promised Terra I'd keep her safe. Go find Terra. She holds the future to our survival. Her terror turned to into a light and streaked away towards west. Make your way to Figaro Castle. Maybe they can help you there. Can't sleep in bed. Oh hey, we can actually explore Narsh for the first time ever. <laughs> Magic? Pshaw! What nonsense! Norris is a neutral city. There wasn't no war here, but that heckin' empire won't listen. So magic really does exist. All the important things that I wish I had more money for. Figaro Castle can burrow under the desert and take you to Cullingen. Curse the day we dug up that Esper. That's what brought the Empire here. I thought I found one of those. You could just buy one. Uh, cash shell when HP is low. That's actually kind of handy. And it, I think, also increases defense. Um... Do -do -do. Well, I saw some Moogles walking with a Sasquatch. I'm troubled. I wanted to avoid fighting, but... Gotta check those clocks for their elixirs. the cool stuff so flails are weird uh, and full moon is weird um, I can't afford all of them <laughs> what do we have can I actually sell things sell enough things. Probably not. That might be a bit of a bar. Alright, we have that mithril, mithril vest now. you and your really poor magic dodge chance 
Enjoy Mithril Vest. Okay, actually, we do not want a, fl a flail for Celeste because um, her runic ability requires that she have a sword. Um, so even when she can equip other things, uh, it's kind of a bad idea because then she can't use her runic ability. So we're gonna buy two of these. Goodbye, all of my money. Um, so the reason we're buying two of those is because now we can shove Locke in the back row uh, and he can attack with those. Yes, sleepy bed. Granted, there's also the tutorial uh, house that has the bucket that we can just talk to to uh, restore things. Okay, so there's no way that we could uh, refill our water supplies. Geothermal devices keep the town warm. Uh, there's no way we could afford to hire shadow anyhow so i'm not going to care that we have four people in our party uh we can still run into him man it is spendy up here do a glowing form soared off toward figaro castle it almost seemed human trapped um All right, look at that four person party <laughs> without having to add a random side character who is a main character. Anyway, um, da -da 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 -da. we're going to do one last little thing, I think. Um, maybe two last little things, but well, hey, we can actually like. Explore Narsh for the first time without people getting mad and throwing us out. Only oh, the chest in the back is locked. Can it be opened? Am I going to feel really silly? 5,000 money. More earrings. A thief knife. That one's locked. Wall ring. Sneak ring. Hyper wrist. Hey, I think we just got some of those things that are, like, really important to, uh... Well, that's actually really good. Um, <laughs> five speed and also higher chance of doing stuff. Uh... Thief knife. Ooh, that's actually really quite good. Okay, um, so we give up a fair amount of damage if we use this. Because this is a front row sort of deal. Uh, and I do feel very silly for buying two full moons and then finding good stuff immediately after. Because I didn't think I would be able to, like, actually get in there. Um, do, 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 Let's real quickly arrange our items. And the thief knife. Interesting. It can be used by a shadow. It does also increase speed. Um, okay, so... We lose out on some damage, especially if we're keeping the lock in the back row. We could put him back in the front um, and get all that damage back, but... Meh. Lowered attack power by not too much, except that we're in the back row, so it doesn't do that. The random chance to steal, and also the three more speed, like... The boy's got some chunky speed, like, oh man, poor, poor Edgar, you're so slow. <laughs> um, and that sneak ring we just gave him that increases the steal chance, that's always fun and good and nice. Um, I should probably go harvest that white cape off of uh, 
of Gal. Yeah, let's do that. Party management. It's always a deal. Gao does his best. Alright. What did I give you two? Drew Knight and Hyperist. I don't really care. I do want this, though. Man, I am going to need to stock up. It's Imp and Mute, uh, earrings. Just some specific things. Right, the wall ring is actually, um, it's interesting, but it's also kind of dangerous because casting Arflect, um, <laughs> again, we run into, like, the, uh, character limits on things pretty quickly in these days, um, I do want you to have a Genji glove, though, um, save from the pits of despair of, of dodging attacks, because poor Edgar with his one person dodge chance versus uh, everybody else having a, like, almost okay <laughs> um, amount uh, four, so it's a four percent versus a, a one percent um, of the Atlas Armlet uh, Atlas Armlet uh, da, 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 da. only works on fight or if it actually does raise, raise like physical damage as well let's I don't remember I don't know here just you have that Let's make you capable of dodging the occasional attack. Change of plans. You already have a ribbon. Okay, there we go. We're done with menuing for now. <laughs> uh, don't worry, there's more menuing to come in future episodes. Um, great, so we are pretty much good to boogie on. We're gonna look at the bar, uh, look at the item shop and be sad. Um, we have one of these. Okay, it looks like it did take all of Terra's gear. That's fine. Everybody can use a Mithril Shield. Brutal. Um... We're going to buy three for now. Yep. No. <laughs> I 
Let's get that magic attack up, because why not? There's really not much of a change for defense for her to be doing that instead. We don't want to use the Rune Edge because it specifically... Uh, if the Evade Percent actually did things, that'd be actually a really good sword. Um, but since it uh, uses mana in order to uh, boost stuff... Um, the absorption of mana in order to do critical attacks, it's a neat concept, uh, but it ends up always just taking mana that I would really rather, you know, have. Okay, and now we're done menuing for now. Uh, I like, now we're done menuing for now. <laughs> Let's get that save. Let's call it a day. Next time we head over towards Figaro and Collingen or Jador, uh, and well, hey, we're getting there. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.